Just start with brisk walk, start skipping, start jumping in the same spot, uh, start running in the same spot, add squats, add orange squeezes, toe curls, yoga, whatever it be. 30 minutes of moving around for five days a week. You wanna take two days off, so be it. Hi, I'm Rajat Chauhan. I'm a sports medicine doctor and a musculoskeletal medicine doctor. You know, we're going through a very, very tough phase. Now, you would be wondering in COVID times, what am I doing? Why am I talking to you guys? I'm not an emergency medicine guy. I'm not the guy who you'll see in the ICU. So why me? But there's a role for all of us. There's a role of what I do and a very, very important one, which everyone's missing out on. I'll talk to you about a couple of studies that have come out. If someone has been physically active, the 50% higher chances of developing antibodies after vaccines in those individuals. 50% higher chances. They're talking about 70 to 75, 79%, you know, it working. Or those people who got the vaccine not getting the infection then. What if two and a half times higher, so maybe we get to like a 90 odd percent. Why are we not being active then? So get on with it. You don't have to do too much. Just get started, please. Do very basic things. You don't have to go to gym and do heaviest of weights. You don't have to do Pilates forever. You don't have to be hanging upside down in some yoga posture, which you can't do in any case, all right, a headstand or something. Just get started, please. Baby steps, over a period of time, you will be able to do the most difficult things. So all I'm saying, please, everyone gets active. How much should you be doing? You don't have to be worrying about the highest intensity workouts and running marathons and all that. You just need to be doing 30 odd minutes, five days a week of physical activity, not even seven days. Do 20 minutes actually if you want to do seven days, all right? Just get started. Just start with brisk walk, start skipping, start jumping in the same spot, uh, start running in the same spot, add squats, add orange squeezes, toe curls, yoga, whatever it be. 30 minutes of moving around for five days a week. You wanna take two days off, so be it. Before you get your vaccines while waiting, you can proactively work with it, rather than just saying, oh my God, my turn's not coming. What have you done? So please, please get on with it, all right? Now, coming to the another aspect, under 18s, you know, everyone's planning, everyone's thinking about 18 to 45, and what about over 45? Above 45 is only 20 odd percentage of the country, okay? Below 18 is more than a third of our population is below 18 years of age. What about them? What about the future of the country? What are we doing to take care of them? So it is important we address that. I'm not talking about vaccination. Vaccination for them will come when it does. We don't even know 18 to 45, you know, how soon, how long will it take for all of us to be getting vaccinated? But let's talk about the under 18s. How do we make sure that they stay fit during this time, are better prepared? Because COVID is not, oh, you are above 18, so I'll actually, you know, affect you, you'll get positive and you'll get whatever, hospitalized and maybe die, but I'll not touch under 18s. That is not the fact. Under 18s are getting more and more positive, are getting more and more affected, spreading it, and even bad things happening to them. So they need to, they need to be physically active. Why I say that is not because it's my field alone, but because there's research showing. Who had been active, they had a lot lesser hospital admissions, a lot lesser need for getting into the ICU, and a lot lesser deaths happening in them who were physically active, okay? as much as two and a half times lesser chances if they were active. Now, please, 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 let's get our children moving. Even adults, please get moving right away. People who are already physically active, who are runners, who are going to the gym, what are you doing to your family? Are you, are you making sure your children move? Are you making sure that the spouse does? Get them involved in the whole thing. Please get them involved. We have to do this. We have to get through this whole, and let's fight it all together. It is not going to be just me or you or whoever else. We all are in it together. So let's fight it. All right, guys, have fun. Take care.